Hi, welcome to Prophetic Utterance International Ministries. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. It's a pleasure to be here, amen, to bring forth a message concerning our relationship with the Holy Spirit. It's so important for us to have a relationship with the Father, the Son, and His Spirit, the Holy Spirit, because we need to know how to fellowship with the Father by understanding His Spirit. It's not about learning how to fellowship with other people who may not be walking the same type of walk you're walking right now, you know, trying to get to know the Father, understanding His will and His purpose for your life. But it's really about you getting to know the Father, having that intimate relationship with Him one on one. Your relationship, our relationship, relationship should not be contingent upon our father blessing us or bringing stuff into our lives i mean it should be contingent upon our faith because what he has already done for us the love that he has already shared for us so we give god the honor and the praise at this hour at this day and we give him many thanks because our father adonai elohim is worthy to be praised and we thank him for his promises we thank him for his benefits. We thank him that he is doing marvelous things in our lives. But let us not get caught up with carnal teaching. Let us not get caught up with teaching that has nothing to do with your spiritual growth, that doesn't align with the word that God is calling us to be faithful, being faithful according to Hebrews chapter 11, verse uh, one. Now faith is, you know, I've always been preaching that. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And we have to trust in the word of God. We have to understand the word of God has benefits. The word of God has healing. The word of God is abundance. Amen. And so much more. But we have to begin to understand that God has purpose for our lives. But in order to understand the purpose that God has for us, we have to understand his spirit. You know, it's just like understanding the spirit of God is just like understanding his character. When you understand the characteristics of heavenly father, guess what? Then you will be able to press into those things that are spiritual. Why? Because the word of God say, be, be ye holy because I am holy. Father is spiritual. We are to worship him in spirit and in truth. And a lot of times we get false teaching. We get teaching that's based upon the flesh that, you know, cause the ears to be itching because it's enticing and it sounds good and it feels good. And we get addicted to that type of teaching. But guess what? You haven't been delivered. You're still walking in bondage. You're still, you're still being limited. You're still being restricted. The, there's stagnation in your life. You're being delayed. Obstacles are being placed in your life because... You're listening to the wrong word. We all need to hear the word of God because there is truth in Abba Father's word. Amen. There is holiness in his word. And we need to know what that holiness is in our lives in order to do those things that is pleasing to the Father. Amen. So we must trust in him. Amen. Put our faith in him and put our trust in him and lean not unto our own understanding. This is where we get confused. This is where the enemy starts sending those messages, subliminal messages, and causes us to be confused, causes us to doubt, causes us to walk in so much disbelief in that when we speak the word, we're not speaking in faith. Now faith. We got to have that now faith because without faith, it's impossible to please him. Amen. According to the word, uh, Hebrews chapter 11, verse six. So father, we just thank you for this teaching concerning the spirit, the Holy spirit. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you are a merciful God, a loving God. Father, we thank you that the people will begin to seek you, Father God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Father, we just thank you right now for the favor that you are giving us in the name of Yeshua. We thank you for unmerited grace, uncommon favor, uncommon accomplishments in our lives, things that is not common to men.
Amen. Father, we thank you in the name of Yeshua that you are our cover. You protect us and you deliver us from the plots of the enemy. You deliver us from their assignments in the name of Yeshua. Father, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. Father, we ask now in the name of Yeshua that you forgive us, our Father, as we come boldly to the throne of grace, asking for your mercy, our Father, asking for your forgiveness, our Father. Forgive us, Lord, for not seeking your kingdom, not seeking your will, not pressing into the presence of your spirit, Father God, to understand who you are, Father God, to understand your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding and the revelation that you give us, Abba Father. Father, we thank you this day, Lord, because this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us rejoice for wisdom. Let us rejoice for discernment. Father, we thank you that you have given us discernment according to your word, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 11 and 12. Father, nothing is hidden before you. It is laid bare before your eyes. So Father, we thank you right now that we are walking in favor. We are walking in understanding and knowing your will, knowing who you are for our lives. Abba Father, we just thank you. We thank you, Lord, because you are holy. And we thank you for your spirit, your Holy Spirit. And it's so important to have the Holy Spirit. It's so important to have him. Because without the Holy Spirit, you're not going to be fruitful. How else can you produce the fruits of the Spirit of the Lord in your life? How will you, how will you and I be able to endure the things that are soon to come upon us because we confess Yeshua as our Lord and Savior? Because we believe he is the Son of the living God. And he sits on the right hand of the Father, making intercession for us day and night. Father, <laughs> Lord, I, I, I'm praying, Lord, not for myself, but for those who desire to have the spirit of God, who desires to know you, Father God, who desires to be led by the spirit. Father God, we thank you, Lord. We give you the praise this morning, this hour, this night, this evening. No matter where you are, let the spirit of the Lord come and dwell in you and fill you up. When we go through deliverance, and we cast out demons. You know, one of the things that we do as deliverance ministers, we ask for the infilling of the Holy Spirit to go into those areas that has been vacated from the enemy. See, when the enemy vacates you, the spirit of the Lord has to come in and fill you up. Take residence, take reign, take dominion in the area so you will not fall back into that sin again or that bondage. But I pray that this teacher will help you. I pray this teacher will give you peace, a sound mind. Amen. Because Father said he didn't give us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Our mind must be disciplined. We need self-control. We need to be careful what we say before we say it. We need to judge our words, judge ourselves like I got to judge me and think about what I have done and repent and pray to the Father to deliver me so I could turn from my wicked ways. Because anything that is contrary to the will of God, when we're not walking in obedience to the will of the Father, it's rebellion. And we know rebellion is the root of witchcraft. Anything that we're not doing that lines up with his word, precept for precept, anything we do, we're not walking in holiness or righteousness. You know, the enemy, he's going to come in and he's going to slaughter us because he doesn't want us to walk in that truth. But Father wants you and I to walk in that truth, the truth that passes all understanding. And I hope this teaching will lead you to that place where you will begin to study the word of God because when we study it shows approval if, you know for us not for God we're not studying for God we're studying for us we're not fasting for God we're fasting for ourselves we're not praying because we want to pray to get stuff we're praying so we could be in, in communion with our father so that we can hear from him so that we can recognize that when we pray he answers our prayers so we just thank God for this evening. And, you know, again, I give him praise. Again, I say thank you. And I declare his loving kindness over you. For the word of God says in the book of Psalms, Psalms chapter one, verse three, he is 
like a planted tree by streams of water, which yields its fruits in season, whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prosper. So the key thing is recognizing who you are and know that you are like that tree that is planted by the streams of water and you're going to yield your fruits in season. Your fruits are not going to come before it's time. You're going to learn how to be steadfast and strong in the word of God and nor take counsel from the wicked, nor sit in the seats of the scorners. But whatever you do, you should be prospering. And when I say prospering, I'm not talking on the monetary. I'm talking about prosperous, healthy, productive lifestyle. Your family is prosperous. Everything is productive. Everything is bringing forth fruits of the spirit in our lives, in our family's lives, because we are aligning ourselves with the word. We're being fruitful. Yay, God. So the word says in Psalms 5, verse 12, for surely, O Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with shield. And it's like how I begun. I said, you know, Father, give us that uncommon favor. And Father's willing to give us that uncommon favor. Father's ready to give us what he already has done for us. It's already been done. It's accomplished. It's finished. But we are crying out to Abba to continue to bring us in that place that's called favor and so much more. Favor is not the only thing Abba Father can do. But right now, we thank God that he surrounds us with his favor, with a shield. He is surrounding us. We thank God that he is our favor pillar of fire at night he is our cloud by day we thank god that he's leading us into that place where we need to be with him because it's all about him it's all about faith and trust in him so father we just thank you for this teaching and i thank those who are listening i pray that they will benefit from this teaching and whatever the lord places upon your heart when you listen to this teaching Trust in the process of what he is saying. Pick up your Bible, pick up scriptures, listen to some teaching on YouTube, but judge. The Bible say we are to test the spirit to know if they be of God, right? So every spirit that says, Lord, Lord, it may not be of God. So we have to trust them. So Father, those who are listening for the first time, I pray, Lord, that they receive this word that they will receive meat amen meat to fatten them up with the word father i pray that they will accept yeshua hamashiach as their lord and savior and repent and turn from their wicked ways and learn to walk in the path of righteousness for your for for your name's sake amen yay god so father we thank you that you are our deliverer and we thank you father you are our teacher our counselor you are our good shepherd you're the shepherd that leads us in the path of righteousness for your name's sake father you lead us and you guide us father with your rod and your staff father god yay god we thank you lord that you are our deliverer in the name of yeshua and i hope those of you who may not know christ that you will make that prayer make it personal to him accept yeshua hamashiach the name jesus christ but his hebrew name is yeshua and we thank him we thank yeshua we thank him for giving himself willfully amen <laughs> they didn't take his life <laughs> they attacked him and they 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 persecuted him and they beated him before they took him to goliath before they hung him on the tree and the word of god says that he that hunts on the tree it, it, it is a curse and yeshua was handing for the sin of this world, your sin and my sin. So if you believe that, thou shalt be saved. Amen. According to Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. So be unto you and your household. And I'm your host, Jacqueline King, prophetic utterance. God bless you. Good night. Good day. Good morning. <laughs>